Let's kill this news reading, Megan. Sounds good. Congratulations to Max Flinchum, Brady Nicholson, and Braxton Bragg on getting, the first, getting first for their independent business plan at State this past weekend and for making it to nationals. Good luck in Cali. Think Bank will be having a mandatory meeting on Thursday, March 16th in room 1214. Request a pass on passwords from Mrs. Luchanan to attend. Seniors, you must file a free application for federal student aid to be eligible for state, federal, or college money. The deadline for filing this FAFSA is tonight at midnight. Talk to your counselors if you have any questions. Attention seniors, it's your time to vote for the favorite teacher to win the Miller Legacy Award. The Miller Legacy Award is a prestigious award that is given to a select few teachers every year. Listen up as past winners describe what it is like for them. You will find the survey in the IAL module on Canvas and it needs to be completed no later than March 17th. So cast your vote for someone who brightened up your time at Noblesville. The NHS Thespian Troop and Drama Club brings you this year's spring play, The Miracle Worker by William Gibson. This play shares the gripping story of Helen Keller and her miracle worker, Ann Sullivan. This show's final performance is today in the auditorium. The show starts at 7 and tickets are $8. That was some quality news reading. Thanks. Let's toss it to birthdays, lunches, Fine Arts Friday, and sports. Peace, NHS. Firstly, let's wish a big good luck to the winter percussion at Ben Davis this weekend. Make sure to make your way down during AL next Thursday to see the winter percussion and winter guard perform. And a huge congratulations to the Noblesville Winter Guard for second at prelims and they qualified for semi-state this Saturday. Good luck girls. Congratulations to the drama department for putting on a great performance of The Miracle Worker. If you haven't seen it, make sure to see it tonight. Finally, a huge announcement, Jazz One qualified for ISMA State Finals. They are one of the eight best jazz bands in the whole state. Great job, guys, and good luck at State. Plus, at least in here I get medical attention for my AIDS. What, you think McDonald's is gonna pay for that? Yeah, that's right. Ronald McDonald, him friggin' self, is gonna come up to me before I leave work every day and say, Oh, sir, sir, before you go home, here's $200,000 for your AIDS medication. You want fries with that? Ba da 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 right? I'm loving it. Hello, my name is Kurt Weigel, and I'm in the Performing Arts Department and the Speech Team. So, I'm involved in the Theater Arts Program. Uh, I've been in, involved in three shows now. My first one was Lost in Yonkers, which I played the role of Eddie, or Pop. My second one was Spam a Lot, which was a musical, and that was awesome. I played quite a few characters, so I'm not gonna name them all. Um, and then the third one is the most recent one, The Miracle Worker, which we actually have a show tonight for. And then um, I also was involved in the Thespian show, and we went to state for that, got second in the state, so that was really cool. And I'm also on the speech team. Um, I do uh, a lot of different events, so it's hard to pin one down. And we're actually going to state this weekend, so shout out Miller's speech for that. <clears throat> what are they selling? Chocolate? <laughs> I love chocolate! To me, the arts are the most important thing in any kind, not just performance, whether it be music or you know, looking at a painting or a sculpture. And I think the arts are important because it gives you a place to express yourself and connect with others. Um, kind of creates a safe environment where you can just be who you want to be and also gives you an opportunity to show off a little bit and bring some attention to yourself for what you're skilled at, which you don't really get a whole lot of opportunity to do. To normal people who come up and order a Big Mac, a large fries, and a Coke, or some people order two Big Macs, or three fries, or four Cokes, or shakes, or something, right? But that's not the problem. I see old people in a freaking coffee. I could have 100 people behind them in line, they could order 25 filet fish and 75 McRibs, and take two freaking seconds. 
But these old people with their coffee, taking six friggin' hours to order one coffee. Matt, what are you doing? Thanks for watching another episode of Tenor's Friday. Tune in next week. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> You're all the way over there! Greatest Miller athlete of all time, Ben. Nick Mills, no debate. Personally, I think it was Tristan Popa. Fair enough. Your NHS boys track and field team is looking for a few students who excel in the digital area and who are able to record videos for the team season. This opportunity would look great on a college application. So if you're interested, see Coach Graham, Coach Pierce, or Coach Simpson. It's rugby season, and your NHS girls rugby team is looking for girls to play this season. No experience is needed. Contact Haley Beck for more information. The boys lacrosse team lost a tough one last night against Garen with a score of 7-4. Catch them back in action on Tuesday against Chittard. You know, I wish we had more sports to read. I'm already on that, Ben. I put in a petition for camel racing and cornhole. Camel racing, that's something I can get behind. See you later, NHS.